Alright, well I thought it was finally time to get into some inheritance. And this is pretty simple. Create another class here and call it my inheritance. I think I spelled that right. Anyway. My class, my inheritance, okay? And same as the last one, do definitionalize since that's going to run whether you want it to or not, so you might as well have some control over it. And I don't know, create a couple more methods here. How about def method four? Alright. Any method four can go message box underscore p method four is running. Alrighty then. Alright. Now we can go to my class here and you put in a less than sign and then my uh, inheritance. I'm hoping I spelled that right. Okay. So just that's basically right now my class is inheriting from my inheritance. And what that means is it's basically just doing this. It's copying this and it's coming into here and it's sort of putting a border in it, so to speak. And then it's doing all of that. And then I'm just going to comment that out to it. Alright, so just imagine that what it's doing here when you inherit is copying everything inside this class and it's putting it into here. Okay? But what happens is when you go my class dot method two here, what it does is it goes into this class, the one we've created, my class, this one. It's gonna go into here, method two, and it's gonna go look for method two in this class, which you can find right here. Okay? But if I was to get rid of method two and instead create method two up here, death method two. Method two running. Yep, I go method two up here. Instead of checking, um, when it comes to check down here and I can't find method two, instead of throwing me an error, what it's going to do is it's going to go into this border region here that it's inheriting from, which I have to include that by the way. It's going to go into this sort of border region here and it's going to look for that method. And if it can find it, it's going to run that method rather than throw you an error. So if we were to run it now, method 2 running. Okay, but now let's get rid of method 2 in that class. So we'll just comment them out. We'll run it again and it should throw me an error. There we go. It doesn't know what method 2 is. I cannot find it. Okay? But if I have method 2 in this class again, my class, death, method 2, and message box underscore p, method 2, it's still gonna work. Okay? So to put it simply, if it cannot find method 2 in here, or whatever you call your method for that matter, it's then going to go up here to the class that it, in, that it inherited from and it's going to look for it here. And if it can find it here, you're all good. But if it can't find it there, well, it's going to throw you an error. And it's going to... Well, I th when you go my class on you and this class is inherited from this class, this class gets a dot new with it. Okay? So, my class here dot new, you're basically going my class on you and my inheritance don't you okay but this one takes priority over that one alright 